What's going on guys? This is MCS Red. Today I got a video for you on the brand new Lightning Bolt Handguard. This product is going to be available on the MCSUS.com website uh, right now. Uh, this product right here is uh, something that we designed custom uh, for just adding a different dynamic and a different look uh, to a lot of the kit markers. So this is going to be compatible with the bolt and the blizzard and what we will have an adapter for the vortex here very soon uh, but as you can see it's very futuristic looking you got these uh, holes right here act as a uh, kind of like a vent and then on the inside here this seat can you can see through all the way uh, to the other side so if you're using a colored barrel uh, that light or that color is going to be able to shine through uh, this handguard and add a really cool uh, cosmetic look and enhancement to this uh, piece right here. You have a really nice texturing here at the bottom and it's not super wide. So you're gonna be able to, for me, I have larger hands, but I can put my hands all the way around it to where they hit, my fingers touch. If you wear gloves, this is gonna be very, very nice on your gloves. It's gonna allow you to uh, really dig into these uh, grooves right here and you're gonna get a real good grip on this hand guard. You have a Picatinny on the bottom here so you can use your foregrip, flashlight, laser, anything you want. And then you also have your two Picatinny's here on uh, the left and right side, as well as the top. Um, you can see the attachments here. Uh, if you're familiar with the mil spec barrel nut adapter for the Blizzard and Bolt series now, then you'll you, this will look very, very uh, familiar to you. The installation is plug and play. The only thing, the tool that you're gonna need is a rubber mallet. So I'm gonna show you how to install it here uh, on a, uh, Blizzard Tactical. Uh, it's going to be the same for the Bolt and then any of the other markers that this is going to be available for. Really, really simple. Uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see here, I got the handguard. Uh, we're going to first need to do, and I've already done it, is I removed the magazine pin, which goes right in here. Uh, so a lot of you know the, to, how to remove the magazine. We've talked about that before in the tech videos. And then I went ahead and I removed the front two screws here, the top and the hinge screw for the magwell. So you're gonna to wanna to set those aside. Those are right here. Make sure you use the right size Allen. If you don't do that, you have the, you're increasing your chances of stripping that screw and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be calling me for a replacement. So let's go ahead and remove the magwell here. Set that aside. And what we can do is once you loosen the barrel, this should come right off. Now this is the fixed pump handguard. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a little similar, but not as cool looking and it's definitely not as long. So you're looking about six and a half inches where you're looking about uh, almost four and three quarters with this one. Um, but once you have that, I go saying, if you're familiar with the mil spec barrel nut adapter, this has one attachment uh, and the barrel actually stabilizes it. So a lot of people didn't like that there was a little bit of wobble here. What we've done and the reason why you're gonna want that rubber mallet is that uh, we've increased the stabilization um, for this product specifically so there is no wobble in any of uh, our during its installation. So you don't need to take apart the clamshells or anything like that. You're just gonna remove the front two screws uh, like I've done here, your hinge, which is your ma for your magazine well, and of course your top or your front body screw there. And they're gonna go ahead and just get this thing started. What you'll need to do is uh, you'll most likely need to hold it on a flat surface, kind of like this. And then you can go ahead and just tap it into place with the rubber mount all the way around. Don't hit it too hard. You don't wanna nick up that, uh, that top part there. And then that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and uh, reinstall everything. I like to do your bottom screw first, uh, just to get it lined up. If it doesn't line up really well the first time, you can go ahead and just, like I said, utilize that rubber mallet and just tap it into place and then get your uh, Allen screws, or Allen key, I'm sorry, and just go ahead and tighten that down. They do not need to be over torqued. You just wanna go ahead and tighten it. Uh, this is already very snug to the shells. It's the reason why we made it like that, so there would be no wobble whatsoever. Um, but just, that's just rule of thumb for any of the kits. You don't need to over torque any of those screws. Doing so uh, is gonna make it more difficult for you to remove them uh, for maintenance, uh, but as well as you might take the chance of stripping them. So as you can see, no wobble whatsoever. This thing is nice and tight. We'll go ahead and put back on our magazine well, and I'm gonna show you just some of the different options here available uh, and what really bring this handguard to life 
as far as uh, using it for the different recessive accessories like the suppressors and muzzle brakes. So let me go ahead and tighten this up just a little bit more. There we go. We'll go ahead and add that back on. Put our pin back in. There you have it. All right, so what I have here is uh, a lot of people always want a uh, suppressor to recess into their handguard. The problem is a lot of handguards out there are not uh, very uh, conducive to the OD of a paintball suppressor because it's 68 caliber. Well, I got news for you. When we designed this, we made sure that this outside diameter is going to accommodate all of our suppressors, which is really, really cool. So as you can see here, there's plenty of options um, that we offer. So you're going to be able to have this suppressor, the MK23, the MK23-2, depending on how you want it. Um, if you want it to thread at the end of the barrel or all the way at the tip here, you can do that. You also have the OPS, uh, which will not recess into this, but you can get your barrel to accommodate um, and it will bat and recess or uh, basically become flush to the front of that, which adds another really cool futuristic look to your marker. And then of course, a lot of people like the Noveski sound amplifiers. This will go right in there and add another cool snub nose type, type of look. The best part about the Noveski uh, is definitely that by using a shorter barrel, this thing really is effective. It is very, very loud. Um, all of the testing from the three, the five, and the six inch barrels are very, very loud. So for those of you looking for a really cool CQB, uh, CQB platform, uh, this is definitely gonna be a handguard you're gonna wanna look into. Overall, you can see the final, when you get to the big leaks, the final version uh, of the th lightning bolt you can see here with the special ops suppressor This is going to allow a lot of players out there uh, to accommodate for longer range shots Especially if you're using shape projectiles in your marker uh, You're going to be able to not have to sacrifice for a CQB Barrel you're going to be able to put a 12 uh, even 14 inch handguard depending on the suppressor that you're using So this is the lightning bolt configuration with the new PDW stock, which is really cool you could see how compact uh, this marker is. It's gonna allow you to accommodate for many different, many different play uh, platforms and play styles. You can find this product on the mcsus.com website. You guys know where to find us. We'll see you guys out on the field.